Here's the wiring diagram of a little amplifier, two-stage amplifier that I built. If we look all the way to the left, the input is rather low. It's dot zero three volts AC at 400 kilohertz. That's going to be our audio signal. And that signal goes through that dot zero one microfarad capacitor onto the base of the first transistor. And notice the bias of that transistor. It's at positive 1.26 volts measured from ground. Now you need to pay attention to the biasing of these transistors. You'll see why a little later on. Now at the collector of the first transistor we now have dot 1.2 volts AC. So that transistor has increased the AC output from dot zero three to dot one two volts AC. We also have at uh, at the collector a positive two dot nine two volts and we want to pay attention to that also. Now this dot one two volts AC signal continues on and goes through the next dot zero one microfarad capacitor onto the base of the next transistor and it's biased at positive one dot two five okay you notice that we got the same bias resistors the 10k and the 51k but they're 10 percenters so there's a little difference but not much okay that signal is on the base now that dot one two volts AC and at the collector we now have an AC signal of dot nine three volts AC almost a volt at 400 kilohertz and the voltage DC voltage that we have at the collector is uh, two dot eight three volts DC now here is the build for this circuit and I've labeled the parts that we're going to be looking at and using in this and that second capacitor that we looked at at the wiring diagram is the coupling capacitor and that's what we're going to be investigating and the output is actually that little black wire that runs down and off the screen and uh, we have also a 100k ohm resistor and a 10k ohm resistor that we're going to swap out uh, with that uh, coupling capacitor and we're going to see what happens to our output and here is a video showing how I'm going to use this build with this wire I can choose the capacitor it's hooked up now or I can choose the 100k and the 10k. With this wire and this wire, let's see, yep. Now I've got the capacitor and 100k in parallel and then I can just move this to the 10k oops like that and now we have the capacitor and 10k in parallel 
Here's the wiring diagram of this little amplifier and this is the audio coupling capacitor. It couples the first stage to the second stage and we're going to see exactly what that capacitor does. Now I'm going to make some changes to the circuit and what I want you to pay attention to is the bias on the second transistor, that positive 1.25 volts when I start making changes. Always take a look at the bias of that second transistor. Okay, at the first transistor, at its output is this signal. And that signal travels over to the coupling capacitor and goes through it and ends up on the base of the second transistor. And this is what it looks like at the collector of the second transistor. A very nice sine wave. Now we're going to start making some changes. Here I have disconnected the coupling capacitor and added in a 100k ohm resistor. And I haven't changed anything on the scope. And what is going on there is that the scope has gone out of sync because the signal has dropped so much. Okay, now I've changed the 100k to 10k and I did have to push the auto button on the scope to get it to uh, find the signal and it's so low that it's basically just noise. But take a look at the bias on that transistor. It's now 1.4 8 and it should be 1.25 okay well that's because we're using a resistor and it has changed the bias so much that the second transistor really can't function properly okay I went back to the 100k ohm resistor here but added in the capacitor and look what we have. It looks like a pretty nice signal, but let's compare it with just the capacitor, the coupling capacitor, and you'll see that it's a much nicer sine wave. And when we go back to the 100K, we can see that the bottom is beginning to flatten out. Now when I change that 100k ohm resistor with a 10k and we've got the capacitor in there, basically what has happened, of course we got more audio going through the 10k, but we got more DC going through the 10k that changes the bias on the transistor, the output transistor, and it changes it so much that it really can't function. So this is what a coupling capacitor does. It blocks DC so we can have our voltage coming from the collector of the first stage not interfering with the voltage the bias voltage on the next stage. But also, that coupling capacitor lets the audio through. And in this configuration, we have a nice sensitive amplifier. Thanks for watching.